Hi. Let me show you some code around bindings, closures, and mutable variables. Consider that, that code. It defines a function that creates boxes, that is, an object with two properties, which I choose to name get and set. The content of a box is held in the content variable. The two closures that implement get and set share the content variables. More precisely, when makebox is invoked, it creates a new binding for the content variable, and the two closures capture that binding, and when set mutates the shared variable, get sees the new value without delay.